Hey guys, this is Mike, and this is the second video of the LibGDX desktop tutorial where we will be making an Asteroids game. In this video, we're going to be talking about the camera class and how we're going to use that to actually view the game. So, the last place we left off here was um, we just created the desktop application, and it's just a 500 by 400 window with nothing in it. So, let's go ahead and get started. I want to explain the camera class first. Um, let's go ahead and add that in here. Public, static. Uh, we're going to use an orthogonal camera because uh, this is a 2D game, so it doesn't really. Gunnel camera. It doesn't really make sense to use uh, the other perspective camera. Orthogonal camera. Did I spell that wrong? I'm trying to import this. Ah, uh, orthographic camera. <laughs> I call it orthogonal camera for some reason. Anyway, um, yeah, it's called orthographic camera. So anyway, that's pretty much that. Uh, now I want to explain what exactly the camera class is supposed to be doing. I'm not going to go in depth about. Uh, the projection and view matrices and any transformation matrix stuff. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it as plain English as possible. Um, just give you guys enough information to know what exactly is going on. So, everything in the game is in what I want to call the game universe. Since we have a 2D game, the game universe is more or less just an infinite XY plane. Um, so that means anything that we draw uh, has to be somewhere on this plane. Now here is our main menu. This is the menu that we're going to be making once we're done. Um, and it has to go somewhere on this plane. Now um, since we're not messing with the game transformation matrix, everything will be drawn as is. If we want to draw let's say a circle at 100 100 then surprise the game is going to draw a circle at 100 100 that being the case that means um, if we want to draw the game it only makes sense to draw the game right over here right next to the origin um, since our game is 500 by 400 uh, that's where it's going to be right here um, so, just as an example, if I wanted to draw the title, Asteroids title over here, I'm going to have to draw it at like 100, 300 or something. So yeah, that's pretty much that for the game universe. Now, we're going to use the camera class to actually view something in the game. Right now, by itself, the game universe is just something that we can't see. We need the camera to actually see it. So, with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and go back to the source here and create a new camera. Cam is equal to new orthographic camera. We're just going to use the default here. So, by default, the orthographic camera is just simply this small box. Just pretend this red box is the camera. Um, by default, it is this small red box centered at the origin with a width and height of 2 pixels, or something. I think they're pixels. I guess I'll call them pixels since that's the way I want to think about them. Um, so as you can see, this camera is relatively small. We're zoomed in a lot, by the way. Um, it's only It only goes over, uh, over to 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. And our game, if you remember, was uh, over here, 500 by 400. So if we use this camera, the default camera, we're only going to be seeing like the bottom left most pixel of our game. So, you know, basically we won't be able to see the game at all. So what we want to do is we want to make the camera larger over here and specify that the camera is now 500 by 400, the same size as our game. So let's go ahead and do that. Width and height. So now our camera is going to be the same size as our game. 
which is 500 by 400. Um, so if you take a look, our menu, like I said, is going to be just right up here um, in the top right quadrant. And our camera is down here, centered at the origin. That's not good, because if we run the game now, we would only be able to see this bottom left portion of our game. So what we have to do is move the camera over to the right by width divided by 2, and we have to move the camera up by height divided by 2, and doing so, we'll move the camera directly on top of our, of our game here, and that is exactly what we want. So, cam.translate we're going to move it to the right by width divided by 2, and we're going to move it up by height divided by 2. And we are going to call cam.update in order to sort of commit. Cam.update is like a commit, because just calling translate does nothing. You actually have to call update in order for the transformation matrices to recalculate. So that's pretty much it for the camera. Um, <laughs> so this is a really short video, uh, but I feel like the camera <coughs> class deserves its own video because uh, it might be confusing to some people, and I don't want to get into the rest of the game just yet. So hopefully you understand how exactly the camera works in relation to the game universe. <coughs> and how exactly to view the game universe using the camera. So, uh, <laughs> I know we only wrote four lines of code for this video, but that's gonna be it. Uh, I promise we will be getting into the actual game in the next video. But, uh, like I said, I think the camera class deserves its own video. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's it for this, and I'll see you in the next one.